guys, welcome to my channel, Mobs Fitness. I want to show you how most bad programs are done perfectly. Alright, watch me how I will do this. The time we go on, we call go on. Your back and your back muscle comprise of so many muscles. Your rhomboid muscles, your lower trap, your lats, your rectal skinny, your middle back. It comprise of so many muscles, but it depends on how you perform your role. When you perform your role properly, it builds so many muscles on your back. See, that's how you have a role. That's when you perfectly do. You don't necessarily need to overact your back. You just need a partial act back or a straight back. So you can have to break your function. So people end up going this way. When you do this way, you are your function to be too short, it's too low. You will not have much effect on your back muscles and the whole back muscles are not really resistant. You will not activate the whole back muscles. Is it to turn back and you move forward a bit, then you squeeze back. You move forward a bit, you squeeze back. And you move forward, you put it back your arms. You don't need to sit back. If you sit back, you will end up doing this way. You're not going to be too much further. You don't need to put it back. Put it back, press one to it, put it back. But some people end up from time to minute. Though this is not strong, but the only thing that is strong to this pattern is you're not rotate too much because the range of push your pushing is too low. So when you want to execute it, it just have to press forward, then pull. Press forward, squeeze. Okay, let's go for more. Okay. Let's go. Pull. Squeeze. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is how your cable rod is done with the single hand one. Then let's go from let's go for your front. Your most careful rule. So be careful what you want to do that you know, okay? The motions are still the same. The movement, okay? The pose is this way, okay? You squeeze back. You stretch, you squeeze back. You stretch, you squeeze back. You stretch, you squeeze. You stretch, you squeeze. You stretch, you squeeze. You stretch, you squeeze. Okay, let's go for three. Let's go. One. Now you can place your hand here when you want to. You can place it behind you. You can place it around your 
Barber rule. Whenever you're taking your stand right on your barber rule, you need to keep your stance, your feet, slightly your shoulder width. This should be always your measurement. Don't over open your legs. I see some people doing this. They open their legs and do this. This is not necessary. It doesn't look good. You will, you will leave in danger your lower lower by your lower back. So whenever you close your legs, partially to your shoulder width, it gives, it gives you good stance. So you can perform your programs effectively without any injury. Okay, watch now why I do. I'm making your barbell roll. You have two kind of grips too. As I told you, your connected, your supinated grip. So when going with your connected grip, this is your arm facing inward or downward, okay? We are pulling the bar. When the wind the back, the back should go straight to your toes. I see most people, they are pushing out the back. This will endanger your waist. I don't wonder how they do that. This is very dangerous because when you push out the back, your waist is not braced. This is the right way to do it. So this is when you're using your pronated grip. When you use your pronated grip, feel the same movement. Some people end up because they are using their pronated grip, they start pushing the weight outward. Ow, I can't, I can't imagine myself even doing that. Pushing the weight outward. They all should come this way directly to your toe so that you hit your back directly. When you shift your hands forward, that activation, that constant tension is not there. The stretch is not there, all right? Let me go with the supinated grip. This is a supinated grip. All right, let's go. See? Good. So when next time you want to walk your back, your back compass of so many muscles that I told you, your lower traps, your room boy, your lats, your rectus today, your middle back. Just do it effectively and properly. You will have good muscle activation and good progress. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you.